welcome back again. Uh, yeah, you know, you know the drill. I'm not gonna sound too happy because of what happened to Doug. I, just all of it. Damn, that was creepy. Hey, Lily. Lily. I'm sitting here tied up like an animal while you guys decide what to do with me. It's not like that. Then what's it like? You killed a dog. You want to... I still don't hate her, but she... She told everybody I was a murderer after she killed Doug and <sighs> it's fucked up shit. I still care about her, but you know. How stuff? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Have you heard anything out of Lily in there? Not a peep. I don't like that. She's probably in shock. She did a monstrous thing. Has Clementine said anything to you about Doug or Duck or anything? I'm worried about. No. <laughs> that little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Doug. Where did yesterday go? I don't know. You were standing right there. Are you doing okay? I was. It was awful. One of the worst things I've seen yet. I'm sorry you and... Oh my god, Clementine had to see that. I liked him very much. He'd spent some time in Belgium. Where your family's from. Yes. Even further away now. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. <sighs> you worried about keeping her in there? I cracked a window. I sure as hell don't want her out here with us. Hey, Clem. What are you going to do with Lily? I don't know. Something, I suppose. I don't know what we can do. She killed him. Yeah, it, it's horrible. Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. For one forget what? I stood up for him and Dog died for it. Just what would you have done be honest. I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. You, uh... Happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. I think I was right to ask him if he did it. At least he answered for me, finally. <laughs> I mean, he said the same thing to Lily, but it's normal to ask, in my opinion. Whoa, somebody's been somebody's living here. Somebody's been living here. <laughs> yeah, man. 
the same thing as me. Think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. Maybe too much of a close up, but eh, whatever. Looks unopened. I'll take this to Katja for Doug. Yeah. Oh. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. Dude. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Well, I'm gonna go give the water to Katya. Sorry, that was mumbling. I said I'm gonna go give the water to Katya. Man, fuck these controls. I got no idea how to get the engine started. That guy in the cab probably knew. Yeah, well, he isn't talking. Well, he had to learn it somewhere. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. I better get back to it. Ken took off in a hurry. We think the train might actually work. Trying to find out how to start the engine. How? I have no idea. Well, someone must have known, right? You're right. Maybe Lily now, so gonna go check. I don't think so, but you never know. Keep her involved, maybe. You know, whatever. Pencil. Sharpened, too. I'm leaving. What? Go. Now! Come with me. We could take the RV right now. He left the keys in it. No. Come on, Lily. Didn't think you would say yes. I can't let you take the RV. Be crazy. 
You're not letting me take it. Sorry, Lee. I really am. Whoa! <gasps> Lily! Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! Lily! Come back here, you crazy bitch! Fuck! Stop! All I tried to do for her. We're fucked. Yeah, we are. Maybe, man. Maybe. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Duck is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. I wonder if anybody knows you can tell me. I wonder what happens if I don't take the pencil. Does does she still leave or Hey sweet pea, you okay out here? I don't think Duck feels good. Uh, me neither. Map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. What are the odds? There's got to be a better way to do this. Shit. Broken. Derailed. Damn, dude. Okay, so it's derailed. That's fucked. Let's say if we had the RV, we could maybe push it back on, but we literally took off with that, so... Yeah, we have to cut that loose. Nothing. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This hoss will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. Just have to figure out how to get it started. I'm sure we can figure it out. How tough could it be? Doug would have known, but we'll figure it out. That's the spirit. A bunch of maps about Georgia cities. Nothing about the train. So I still want it. It's a bunch of papers. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I 
can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Wait a minute, that's what Clementine would leave, right? Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah, should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Okay, so... What? Those two... Down, those two up. Ooh. Jesus! Oh fuck, what? Stop looking for a second. Door's gonna hurt. Yeah, I don't wanna use, you know. Ow. Okay. I was fiddling with the camera, I didn't see it now. Oh well, I can I can just look at when I'm editing. It's in pretty good shape for a wreck. Oh, I could go down there. Crap. I'm not to go back out again. One hell of a mess. I'm sorry about the RV. I'm worried. We're really on our own out here now. Well, we're putting some time into this train. Worst comes to worse. Boxcar safe enough to sleep in. I better get back to it. Here, I found these. If Duck's up for it. Thank you, that's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not Duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. Hey, Sweet Pea. You okay out here? I don't think Duck feels good. Uh, me neither. Can't believe Lily left after. I always, I sided with both of them on different occasions. Kenny hated me for being angry that he killed Larry, and Lily hated me before that because I sided with Kenny. So can't make everybody happy, I guess. Can't make anybody happy. Well, the lights are burning, so it's power. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good.
Now we're talking. Wait, where's the other thing? Nine. There's no nine here, it must be the engine itself. If not, then I don't fucking know, I'm no mechanic. Enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. No, she won't. She's still stuck to the back end of this compartment. Find out where we're stuck, and get us unstuck. Yeah, sure. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! I can get it over there. You touch any of my stuff? Oh, shit. Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. <laughs> Did 
to be honest, if it was really like that, I think it would be like Ben too often. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids, and this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. I better get back to it. No. No. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Want a ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. Easy, Kenny. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talk through! Get on, Cat. I'll be up front. Dude, be easy. I'm trying to help you. We get where we're going. I'm trying to be easy on him. Telling him it's fine to take Duck along because so much has happened already. But I think we all know Duck's not gonna make it. He's bitten. Should end it here, but I'm not feeling it. I, I want to keep going. For now. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. 
No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get him. No. Ah, living got him. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What, sir? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Shit, I went to talk to Ken first. I'm not going back in there until I talk to Kenny. Stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend. I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. What are you talking about? I've stood up for Duck so many times. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. And a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if, what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. I'll do it. No. It should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Lee's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and... 
Just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. I'll do it, Gat. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. By making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. But... Gotcha! Why, cat? Honey? Oh, fucking God! <laughs> oh, my God. I... I... Dude. <laughs> 